You know, soil is the largest reservoir of biodiversity. Mm. And that's where I learned that um, soil uh, and natural resources are the most basic uh, uh, of nature's gift on which depend our life. Mm. And uh, flowing needed. Mm. Why do we have a flood irrigation? Um, why are weeds uh, difficult to control? Um, why are the crop yields low? Uh, why are people suffering from malnutrition? So those things came out my childhood experience growing up very, you know, uh, in a way innocently in a village community with very little facilities. But if a miracle variety is grown in a very degraded soil, it won't perform miracle. That was simple as that. Mm -hmm. I was simply concerned with preserving the soil, yes. storing water in it, moderating its temperature, mm -hmm. so that the biological activity in soil, earthworm, termites, centipedes, millipedes, microbes, they are all thriving. Mm -hmm. And if they thrive, soil will be good quality. Yes. And that was the basis of the soil-centric approach. Soil is like a bank account. You cannot keep taking out of the bank and not put anything back. Mm. And that is a problem with our system. What I am saying is, uh, let not encourage farmer to burn, let not encourage them to take away the residue, encourage them not to plow. It may lead to less production mm. for the first two, three, four years. Mm. And in that transition period, make sure farmers do not suffer. But now India has uh, sufficient grains and uh, we need to produce better quality, we need to save the environment and that is a part which is very very critical. So total soil to one meter depth contains 2500 billion tons of carbon. Compared to the atmosphere contains 800 billion tons. Compared to all trees and shrubs of the world, you will not believe that, 620 billion tons of soil. Mm. And that is what I was saying, pay farmer for one carbon credit. Mm. And one carbon credit is equal to one metric ton of carbon dioxide equivalent. Mm. Then agriculture becomes a part of the solution and it has to be a part of the solution mm. because each one of us eats food three times a day. Mm. We can't do without it. So agriculture cannot be a problem. It must be a solution. Why such a difference? Because we do not respect agriculture. That's simple as like that. If we respected agriculture, why should agriculture graduate be getting only 20% of what an engineer or a medical graduate will get? This is Ratan Lal from Haryana, Punjab. <laughs> and now teaching soil science at Ohio State, that's all. No, no.